Fragrance fam, what's the deal? Welcome back in to another fragrance review with your boy. That's right, we are back. And today we're gonna to be talking Bacar Royal Ocean. Bacar Royal Ocean. It's from the fragrance house of Cool and Cool. I'm not sure if they are a new house that a new house or a house that's been around, but we're talking Bacar Royal Ocean. This one right here. All right, guys, stay tuned. The fragrance show. That's right, guys. Come on back in, man. Shouts out to everybody that's been checking out the channel. We over 6,500 subscribers, guys. We head into that 7K mark. At 7K, I'm going to be doing another giveaway on the channel. But, man, the goal for this year, the bigger goal, the bigger fish to fry, excuse me, is to hit that 10K mark. All right, guys. So, peace to my new subscribers. Peace to my return subscribers. Peace to everybody, man. So, today we're talking Bacar Royal Urchin. Now, I do believe this is a fragrance. I, be, I do believe there might be a series of four to five fragrances. I believe it's probably four and I do have all of them and I will be getting them up on the channel as we go along and finish out this year. But the one I've been spending the most time with is this puppy right here, Royal Ocean. And the presentation on these bottles are very nice, man. All four bottles are definitely pretty similar, but I really like the presentation on this one. And um, cool and cool, man. I'm gonna have to see if they got any more stuff dropping, but so far, so good. They picked this bottle up off of Triple Traders for $34.99, guys. I'm gonna get it on a strip and I'm gonna read the note breakdown to y'all. Really been enjoying this one this summer. I'm not gonna even lie, man. When you find a Middle Eastern fragrance you can rock in the summer, man, and it's good, you gotta take advantage of it. So, notes in that one, guys, to start out, top notes is rose in the mid, patchouli, dry amber. And I guess that's in the base too, because really that's all I'm seeing here is rose, patchouli, and dry amber. And also, it has a little breakdown of it. it has It starts out with some saffron, the primary ingredient, Captivating with rose flowers and a smoky scent of pear pepper helps this create a powerful scent that's timeless. Okay, all that sounds good. Let me tell y'all what I'm getting from this fragrance right here. Saffron is definitely a player in this one and rose for sure. But there is something of a citrus note that's in here that's making it, I don't want to say blue, but hence the name Royal Ocean, that's giving this one more of a mixture of saffron rose and a little bit of freshness. That's why I'm digging this scent. I have got a lot of compliments when wearing this fragrance. Been asked, mm, what you got on? Now, when you first smell this, you're gonna pick up on the saffron and rose, which notes that you're very familiar with. But something else is working its way in here. It says it's pear in here. Could be giving it a nice freshness. Now, this is not a blue fragrance. Don't take the name Royal Ocean and think this is a blue fragrance. This is by far not blue, but it does have a citrus take on it. Not citrus take, it does have a citrus note in it that's giving it a nice body of juice that you can wear in the summertime. Now you think a saffron and rose is more for cooler weather, but this one can't get the job done. I wore it this summer. No problems at all with it. I will say, upon picking up these fragrances, this one and the other three, I will say right off the bat, they smell much more expensive than what they cost. All of them smell classy. If I had to pick them in one word, I would definitely have to say class. But nevertheless, guys, this is definitely, this is definitely, okay, pear is starting to, okay, okay. Something of a fruit. Like I said, pear is something to come through, but first out the gate leading the charge on this one is saffron and the rose combination for sure. Let it work its way through. Patchouli in this one is not earthy and nothing like that. So it's very nice. It's very nice guys. Bacar Royal Ocean by Cool and Cool. Now, like I said, that can go for the spring, that can go for the fall, early fall, and that can definitely go in the summertime. I will not wear that to the office. You will be doing a little too much. I'm not gonna lie, unless it's Friday and you going out at the work. That's the only time you wear that to the office. Nevertheless, you wanna go formal with that scent for sure. In my opinion, you wanna get dressed up with this fragrance for sure, guys. And performance on it, 
stellar. No problem with the performance. Easy six to seven hours on skin and clothes and it projected well, well over an hour to that hour and a half mark because it's dominated by some heavy notes. Rose and Saffron are heavy notes, but like I said, it's a citrus player in this one that's in the background and it's put together very nice. That was my take on the Bacar Royal Ocean. You guys let me know if you have picked up anything from this fragrance line like they said. Like I said, the name is Cool and Cool. I'm not sure if they're new or just re not re-releasing or just, you know, they might have been doing something else and just decided to release some fragrances. Who knows? You guys let me know. But man, I'm telling you, pick up this one, Bacar Royal Ocean. You're going to have a fresh scent on with an excellent body of work and you're going to be smelling really really nice and definitely interesting all right guys thanks for watching another video with your boy if you need more content click on that video header up above you want to like and subscribe to the channel you go do that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace salute